Hi guys, Ape here of the Pocketbot Collective. And let's have a look at the other beast forming Autobots. Not the Dinobots, but the Monster Bots. Now, straight off the bat, these guys are not considered Legend class figures. They were marketed as Deluxe class figures by Hasbro and Takara. But, if you have any Dinobots in your collection, there is a good chance you either have the DX9 Dinobots or their slightly upscaled knockoff versions by McFans Toys. And hopefully now you can see why the monster bots fit right into a Legend class collection. Because they're a little bit taller than the DX9 Dinobots, but they're a little bit smaller than the MFT Dinobots. And those two are definitely considered Legend class figures. So in my book, these guys can as well. Alright, let's have a look at... Grotusk. And my version is the Takara version from Transformers Legends, the LGEX, who comes boxed with Repugnus. And if you've seen the Repugnus video, I mentioned that I would show the box and then I completely forgot to show the box. So, before I go any further with this guy, let's have a look at said box. Which is this one with some really cool artwork on there. That's why I wanted to show it off. Because besides that, of course, the box is nothing special to have or show. But just because of that artwork, I thought I'd show it off. So yeah, right, that was it for the box. <laughs> he also comes with this nice instruction manual. There it is from the back. Has the instructions inside, but also features the part of the comic inside. And as you might be able to tell there is a battle beast there because that's what Takara did they colored their headmasters as actual battle beast counterparts so to say which is why I can recommend this set there's also a, a, a loose version of grotesque but if I remember correctly, he was a New York Comic Con exclusive back in 2017. It sold out really quick. It's really hard to get um, nowadays. Um, you, you might be looking to pay quite a bit on eBay for it. Um, came packaged with these things, but also had an extra headmaster. Um, which was uh, um, turned into Scorpionox's head. I'm not sure what you're supposed to use that with, because there's no Scorpionox Titan Master body, so to say. But of course, you could use it nowadays on um, the Scorpionox Titan, who comes packaged with Zarek, and you could use that little head to attach to Zarek. Nowadays, I don't know what you would have used it for back then, but <laughs> there you go. Um, but it's hard to get, so if you're looking to get these guys, I would recommend going for the Takara 2-pack, which works out better. Also comes with this weapon, he can hold it as a dual blaster, he can also split it as two separate blasters, um, and this thing has the Titan Master ports, can also... 
cette Titan Master in so you can use it as some sort of flying device, whatever. <laughs> um, as far as the head goes, this is his head. Very nice with blue eyes, although it might be a little bit hard to see. But yeah, very cool. And it turns into... Well, he's listed... Hasbro lists him as Fengal, but what this is, is Battle Beast Platinum Tiger. Of course, the Battle Beasts appeared in the Transformers cartoon, but they also had their separate toy line. And I like what Hasbro, uh, what Takara did, and give them their Battle Beast colors. So, yeah, very cool. Let's get him back on Grotusk. Just slots in. There we go. He is a pretty cool robot. Nice details and everything on him. Shares his mold obviously with the other two monster bots. Especially in the legs you can see it looks a lot like Grotusk. Uh, sorry, <laughs> of course, this is grotesque. It looks a lot like um, Double Cross. Um, it has the wings that Double Cross had as well. But then the head, the monster head, kind of works like the one on Repugnus. So they're all similar, but they're different enough to keep enjoying this mold, so to say. I mean, they even made uh, Fangry out of it, one of the junior headmasters, um, in 2021. I don't have that version yet, but I am on the lookout for it. Although it comes in a four-pack and I don't care about the other three robots. So, there we go. But, this is a very cool robot. Um, you probably saw that the wings articulate. So, you can have them all the way back or all the way forward. I tend to have them somewhere in the middle. Arms go all the way around. Oh, sorry. It's just on the slider. Hinged elbow. Can hinge backwards <laughs> and forwards. There we go. A little bit of articulation at the hand due to transformation. Get this flap out the way so you can have the full range on the legs. Sorry. Buddy, get your claws out of the way. There you go. All the way. Cut there. Good deep knee. Not much at the feet because they, they that's for transformation outward. But other than that, they can just spin all the way around. There we go. Now, let's do some comparisons before we go into transformation. Here he is with McFan's Toys Sludge and DX9's Swoop. And here he is with Core Class Prime and our boy Iron Factory's Runabout. Now, let's get this guy into his monster mode.
And there you have it, Grotusk in his monster mode. And I I like to think that it's sort of, sort of like gargoyle-like creature. But Grotusk actually means... Um, do you know, gar gargoyles on like churches and other buildings are the ones that uh, can spew water. But you also have these sculpted details on uh, churches and whatnot that do not have that water feature. Those are actually called grotusks. So, <laughs> hence this thing. Plus him being grotesque, <laughs> so to say. Um, so yeah, but I, I, I usually refer to him as a gargoyle-like creature. We have a double-headed dragon, we have a monster bug, and we have a gargoyle so to say so there you go that is him and i like him look at that beast head sorry it's very cool jaw has articulation i like that the front splits onto the the, the sorry the lower jaw flips down and the head flips back to go to mo uh, robot mode the the arms are a little bit kibbly on the outside whereas the inside is pretty clean but there you go it's got the sculpted details on the legs has the wings like the detail on his spine here and then his tail of course although mine doesn't clip together that well but that's okay it, it's it's minor has a port for the titan master to ride him on so to say and has these two slots here which means if you want to arm him up, oh, I think you can actually even leave it together. Does that fit? No. I have to split them up. Hold on. No, actually, that might be my bad. Hold on. Let's try that again. Yeah, my bad. You can just arm him up like that. If you want to. I don't tend to. But he's got weapon storage at least. And like the others. There's a compartment there for his Titan Master to sit in. There you go. Storage. But I like to display my titan masters or at least the ones from the monster bots separately because they look like their battle beast counterparts so that is grotusk a really cool really unique looking figure in my opinion um really like him happy to have the three bots together finally because it took me a while to find the Takara versions for a decent price but there you go I would definitely recommend them if you're into your monster bots and as you saw they fit right into your legends collection um, when compared to the dino bots I would like to thank you guys for watching once again and I will see you next time hey out